The pupils are enjoying a traditional 1950s tea. Unbeknown to him, Nick Hall is in a jam. Right, you stand, please. <coughs> For what we have received, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. Now, Mr. Perry would like to address the school, particularly the boys. This morning, some items were found in our dormitory area in a place which cannot be attributed to a specific pupil. At four o'clock, I expect that person, all persons, in my office, upstairs, without fail. Nick Hall's the undisputed king of contraband. From the moment he arrived, he set about hiding his stash, not all of it successfully. Oh! Get to my office. So also, I've got a cake under there. But I didn't, I didn't realise that. I genuinely Get to the cake! That. Get to the office! But no one found his biscuit tin hidden in the fireplace. He later moved it to the laundry room and has been stuffing chocolate biscuits ever since. There's only one way to find out if Paul's biscuit tin has been discovered. It wasn't the bottom before. There's nothing there. He got nothing there. Nothing there. No, he's, he's got it then. So what he found there? No, it's just a wrapper. <laughs> Thanks for the sweets, lads. <laughs> 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 That's what I've had enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've had enough. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to go and tell him now. Get out of the door, Chris. But before facing Mr. Perry, the boys must tackle mock O levels in English, maths, and history. As the boys suspected, Mr. Perry has found Hall's biscuit tin. To save Hall's skin, they're hoping to claim collective responsibility. Come in. Right, just stand there, please. Shut the door. Shut the door. Wait so outside. So Wait outside. You just stand Andy there. Andy Wall Wait is outside. perhaps not the best front man. Same story from everyone. That sounded like a good instruction, didn't it? Same story from everybody. Yeah, because we all... We all what? We all put food inside of it, so, so we all wanted up to it. What? The food in the tin that you found. What tin I found? Well, me said you found. Who said I'd found a tin? You did this morning. So. No, I didn't. I said I'd found certain items in a part of the house which were not attributable to any particular person. I didn't say anything about a tin. Well, whatever it was you found, so we all put it in. Well, why do you think it was a tin? I don't know. That's because I. But we all put food in went inside this thing you said it was in. I said I'd found something this morning. Are you telling me it's food I found? This is a trick, wasn't it, sir? What do you mean, a trick? You've mentioned tins, you've mentioned food. Are some tins of food hidden out there, then? No, sir. No? No, sir, because when we went to see if they were still there, they were gone. What were? The tin. What tin? The tin that's now vanished. That's not there anymore. And what colour was this tin? Oh, I'm not sure, sir. So you've never seen it? Um, no, sir. But you put food in it, you said? We didn't we give food and then some put it inside the tin. You're wasting my time. Right, is anybody out here going to tell me any more drivel that I've just had from Warren? Whose tin was it? That's the person I want in here now. The person that owns the tin. My tin, sir. Thank you, Hall. You're the person I want to see. I don't want to see it. I spoke this morning about team spirit. I like team spirit. But in this case, it is misplaced and inappropriate. My name, sir. I was interested to see, Hall, if you were actually going to show up. Well, on day one, I brought two tins in, you took one off me. The second tin was half empty, we put food in it and I hid it in there. Where did you put it? Behind the curtain in the laundry room. Straight away? Pretty much. 
You didn't know the existence of that room at that time. It was, it was, I think it might have been on day one or day two, it started in the fireplace. Oh, right. So it was in the dormitory in the fireplace. Yes, sir. After all, after all I said to you, after all your punishment, yes, sir. being sent to bed early on the first day, you still didn't come clean. Well, you should have gone with the truth to start with, shouldn't I you? I completely regret that. Cannot get away with that. Completely. What are your parents going to think? I'm not sure, sir. Probably disappointed in me. I'm not going to deal with the matter right now. Yes, sir. But I will have to fairly swiftly. I understand that, sir. And, and you can imagine. I'd like to apologise to you personally, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'll give him a complete sob story, like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir, I apologise to you personally, you so good with it. All that <laughs> kind of sick-making rubbish, and still, right, I understand, though. Uh, you still got to be punished, though, and uh, <laughs> blah-de-blah, that kind of stuff.